the name of the restaurant is Cote, like Cote de Boeuf, Cote Roti, but it's actually a Korean word for flour, which is actually pronounced goat. My name is Simon Kim. I'm the owner of Cote Korean Steakhouse. To me, food is family. My brother, my sister, my mother, my father, the family came together around food. Growing up in Korea, we called what's known as Korean barbecue, Korean steakhouse. It's called gogi jip. Gogi in Korean means meat. Jip is house. Code is the first Korean steakhouse in New York City. American steakhouse, I believe it's really, you know, rich. There's a lot of butter in the steak. There's cream of spinach. Korean steakhouse, we eat a lot of fermented vegetables. I thought that doesn't really exist, you know, that where you can eat meat and still have a pretty light experience. The experience at Kota is not formal at all. You get great service, you get great food, but it's your world. Chef David's style of cooking is super uh, straightforward. He focuses on procuring the best ingredients. I try to provide what I grew up with, stuff that comes from my heart, my background, being Korean, and with my experience from New York kitchens. It's a gateway to Korean cuisine in a sense, because a lot of the steakhouse lovers don't necessarily get to try kimchi or pickles at other traditional restaurants. Our Korean flavors at Code is very authentic but everything around it, every other element other than the flavors, is very New York. Here at Cote, we have our own dry aging room downstairs. What we do is Butcher's Feast that has four different cuts. You know, one is wet aged, one is dry aged, one is American Wagyu, one is Korean star short rib. So the idea here is to allow our customers to, you know, have a, like a gastronomical journey of eating meat. The first restaurant that I opened was Piora in West Village. And about a year and a half into it, we got our mission to start at Piora. And then, you know, running a business in New York City is a very tough thing. And I ended up closing Piora. Code opened June 8th of 2017. We got our mission to start on October 30th. Oh. It felt like um, somebody just shocked you with something and I was just so excited and I don't know, I was up in the clouds all day. I have a pregnant wife, so we went to get a sonogram of the baby. As we're walking out of the hospitals after seeing my baby, I get a call from the restaurant, and that was it. It was a very deep emotional experience. Here's like pregnant wife, and here's restaurant that I closed, and there's restaurant that I opened, and that got a star. So it was just kind of like euphoria mixed with you know, nervousness mixed with sadness. Michelin to me is the greatest honor as a chef. Everybody strives for it, everybody wants to achieve it, and only few are lucky enough to receive it. Growing up, you know, Michelin was always like such a big thing that I always like aspired, right? So I kind of saw my father as a Michelin inspector. If I could please him, I thought that I could please Michelin inspector. And my mother was my Michelin star chef. So I, you know, I build a restaurant to please them. And I feel like that's what drives me to uh, create something else. We could not be more grateful just to be able to do what's close to your heart and in a business that you really love doing and to get this much recognition, honestly, no, no words other than grateful.